In 2018, our city will commemorate its founding 300 years ago. In celebration, WYS presents this tricentennial moment. Tucked between the Mississippi River and St. Charles Avenue, Audubon Park has a rich history dating back to a plantation belonging to Etienne de Bore, the first mayor of New Orleans, who successfully granulated sugarcane into sugar in 1795, thus revolutionizing the industry. Over the years, the property changed hands, and during the Civil War, the land was used first as a staging area for Confederate units, and later as a Union Army camp. In 1871, the city acquired the land, and development of Upper City Park, as the area was called, began when it was chosen as the site for the World's Industrial and Cotton Exposition. Although the 1884 event was a financial disaster, improvements to the land had a positive impact on the future of the park, which was renamed for painter and naturalist John James Audubon. Noted American landscape architect John Charles Olmsted, adopted son of Central Park designer Frederick Law Olmsted, was hired to complete a master plan, but Olmsted's bucolic design was compromised somewhat by financial limitations and also by changing attitudes that evolved the Uptown Park into a place more conducive for different forms of recreation. In the 1930s, the WPA helped develop the park's zoo, as well as a swimming pool. Other attractions included a swan-shaped boat for the lagoons and a series of miniature trains. Today, Audubon Park is used for outdoor activities of all kinds, including horseback riding, tennis, and jogging. Audubon Park is considered one of the best urban parks in the nation, a perfect balance of pastoral serenity and active recreation that has made it a favorite of New Orleanians for over a century. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection. Additional support provided by J.P. Morgan Chase, 